All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, we are going to be doing the five things that I hate about my Infiniti G35 Coupe. We got the way so y'all can see him. <laughs> you feel me? You gotta see him. See him. Just kidding. <laughs> so I should have been in this video like a long time ago. This video was like, this video was supposed to be done like six months ago, but. I was like, eh, I got other better stuff to do, which is the stuff that I've been doing on it so far. So today's gonna be the day where I finally made this stupid video about the things that I hate about it. Uh, excuse me. Number one, the first thing that I really hate about my G is the front end of it. Oh my goodness, the front end is so ugly. Like, how do you guys like the front ends of these cars? The front end is not cute at all. I'm sorry, but it's just not. It looks like a bug in the front. It has these big eyes, big beetle eyes. The bumper's ugly, the grill's ugly. Like the front end of these cars just are not cute at all. I'm sorry, I don't know what you guys see in them. But the front end is, isn't isn't cute at all. It's just not, the front end is so ugly. These big bug eyes are just so ugly. Speaking of that though, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've noticed that a lot of people who do have G's, they don't ever, like they always posting pictures of the back of how the butt looks, how, how wide the back is. and. How good it looks from the back no one really posts how good it looks from the front unless they didn't do like the whole spec d headlights the the blackout grill gt3 front bumper or some weird shit like that like nobody ever posts the front of how their g looks like this it's always the back until they have the whole front end redone which proves my point clearly the front end isn't that cute otherwise we wouldn't have to get spec d headlights it wouldn't have to get gt3 bumpers it wouldn't have to get front lip and, the, and the splitter and all of that stuff that just goes to prove my point the front end of these cars are just totally ugly as the fuck anybody that wants to rebuttal comment down below and let me know what you feel as a matter of fact before we even, before we even get too deep into this video pause go like the video right now comment down below what you guys want to see next uh, come, matter of fact comment down below one thing that you hate about your G if you have it or a Z or whatever come, even if you don't comment one thing that you hate about your car one thing that you hate about your car, comment it down below. And then like the video right now. And if you haven't subscribed, go do that. What you wasting time for? If you're on here watching my video, you like me. Go like, go like, uh, go subscribe. That's the one, that's the only thing I ask for you guys, is go subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,000 this year. We're already at 5,600, 5,650. I, I appreciate that too. But yeah, like right now, comment, and sub if you haven't. Number two, the second thing that I hate about my car which is what you guys probably hate about your cars too, if you have a G or a Z, is the fact that the freaking doors don't stay open. Oh, I hate how the doors slam on your legs. When I first bought this car, which I should've known anyway because I worked on a million of these before and a million uh, 350Zs at the shop. I should've already known that the door was like this, but you know, I gave it the benefit of the doubt. And I was too busy just like, you know, happy, the fa happy at the fact that I got the car for such a cheap price, but Let's go ahead and show you guys for the ones who don't know about G's and Z's and their stupid door problem. The door doesn't stay open. I don't know. I don't even know when it happens. I guess around like 100,000 miles it does this. That slammed. This door is heavy. So just imagine, just imagine for the people who didn't know, like my brother, my brother didn't know that, this was, that the door was like this. He got in my car one day Thinking he about to sit in here and play the phone or whatever. He opened the door and let the door sit down, playing his phone in there. Cram! That shit hurt. That shit really hurts. Oh, mama, that shit hurt. This door is not light. I hate that feature. And I think, I, as a matter of fact, now that I'm talking about it, I was on, um, I think I was on Z1 or Njuku, one of those two websites, and they have these things where you can buy them to replace them and make it stay open again, but that's probably gonna be my next investment on this car because I hate this right here. Like, I probably just get like Mike Mike and put on some uh, some some Lamborghini doors. Probably not though. I don't want to be like somebody else. Anyways, that's number two. <laughs> RIP to my brother leg because his leg did get squished in that bit. What you looking at? <laughs> put y'all back in it. Put y'all back in the front. I gotta be quiet so I can finish my video. Uh, that's number two. The third thing that I hate about my car, which is probably the thing that a lot of you guys hate about your cars because you guys probably have a lot of miles on it, but I don't, so 
Um, this thing will probably be y'all first things that y'all hate. Oil consumption. Me personally, I got a new motor on here. I don't have oil consumption. I haven't checked the oil in like three months and I finally checked it again in my last, in one of my last videos. I think it was either the video of me fixing the cooling system or the video of me putting the brakes on here. I had checked the oil in it after like three months and it was still past the F, so I don't have oil consumption. Yes, I want a cookie for that. <laughs> but yeah, so um, a lot of y'all who do have 160 and up thousand miles on y'all cars, I gotta check y'all oil every week. I don't have that problem. But I know that that is gonna be an issue one day that later on down the road, maybe after I put some boost on it or after I make it faster and I beat on it some more. I know the seals are gonna go bad for mine too, but right now I don't have that issue. But that still is my number three thing because that's something that I know that's gonna end up happening to the car. And I'm gonna hate having to check my oil every other week. But as of right now, I don't have that problem. The fourth thing that I hate about my car, that I hate about G's in general, is the way that they sound. I'm sorry, I'm not really a, I wasn't, I'm not really a VQ fan in general. I wasn't a VQ fan at all until I got this car. And the number one reason why I wasn't really a VQ fan is because I hated the way that they sounded. It's hard to make these cars sound good and not sound like a trumpet. Um, that's my opinion though. A lot of you guys out here that are diehard VQ fans, you guys might like the trumpety sound. I'm just not a fan of it. So that's one thing that I don't like about the car. It really does suck. It doesn't sound good at all. And it's hard to get a, it's hard for any exhaust to make it sound good. Tomei sound like shit to me. Okay, I'll take it back. Tomei's don't sound like shit, but Tomei's just sounds super trumpety, just like any other exhaust. Tomei's make anything sound trumpety, so some people like that. I, I'm not a fan of it. I had the car sounding good at one point, and it was still trumpety at, at a certain RPM, but the overall sound, the overall tone was great. But now I just fucked it up. I hate it even more now. But yeah, my, my third thing is gonna have to be, uh, was, that, was, was that my fourth thing? Yeah, my fourth thing. My fourth thing is gonna have to be the trumpety, annoying, disgraceful ass sound that it makes. Sorry, it just doesn't sound good to me. It's my opinion though, some guys love it. And I, and I don't knock you off, I don't knock y'all, everybody different, I don't knock y'all for what y'all love, but me in general, that's just one of the things I don't like about my car. It doesn't sound good. Don't get me wrong, E46, E46s don't sound good either, but my Beamer sounds damn good. I got lucky with a good setup on it and it sounds great. Everyone loves the sound of it. But this one, it's just, it's just, it's just hard to take away the trumpety sound unless you boost it. I ain't boosted yet, but that's never out of the equation. Number five, the fifth thing that I hate about my car is <laughs> another thing on the inside, along with the doors. The fifth thing that I hate about this car, and the last thing that I hate about the, uh, these cars, is the freaking seat belt. Let me take y'all off my, my stand. All right. The reason why I hate the seat belt in this car is because first of all, look how far it is back there. I'm way up here and I'm big, so I'm not way back here in the seat like this. And even if I was, it still wouldn't matter because the seat belt's so far in the cut. When I bring the seat button and put it on, it's always on my neck. Look at it on my neck right now. My hair is in the way, but in general, when I put the seat button on and I sit up, it's on my neck. And no matter how I cut it, because because my shoulders are so broad and I'm so big in the car, even when I do put it in this little spot right here that's, that's made for it right there, it comes back out because my shoulders are broad and I'm big. So, I mean, I, I, guess, it's, I guess this will be a, a, a thing for big people, for big guys. Because uh, yeah, no. By the time I get, by the time I, by the time I make a 20 minute drive of me moving around and moving in the car, man. By the time I get out the car, my damn neck be rough and and cut up and shit. Cause the seatbelt didn't destroy my neck up. They could have did a way better design. I think that what they should have done was put the seatbelt on the on the chair at least instead of up there because right there is a stupid design and that's annoying. Again, some of you guys might not have that issue. Some of you smaller, skinnier guys or girls, whoever watching, some of y'all might not have that issue, but I do, and it sucks ass because I can't even. I I, I try to wear my seatbelt to be safe, but when wearing the seatbelt is just as when wearing the seatbelt is as, as uncomfortable as it as it is wearing this seatbelt, it's just like whatever. Like, sorry, like, yeah, I want to be safe, but I want my neck as well. I don't want to walk around looking like I got a hickey on my neck or something because the seatbelt just destroyed my shit. With that being said, that's the fifth thing that I hate.
that's the fifth and last thing that I hate about these cars in general. Now, for the bonus thing that I hate about my car, why did I sit back down? Uh, this would be five things, but I'm gonna give y'all the bonus thing that I hate about my car. The last thing that I hate about my car in general, this don't go for it. This this doesn't this doesn't pertain to the five things that I hate about G35s in general. This is just my last thing that I hate about my car. The fact that it's a freaking automatic. I would love this car ten times more if it was a manual car. Like 10 times more if it was a manual car. And another thing that I hate about this car is my wheels. They're just so ugly. Like, I'm sorry, but they're just, they're some of the ugliest wheels that I've ever seen in my life. Some people are like, man, they're not that bad. They're not that bad, bro. I'll buy them from you. And then some people are like, yeah, bro, they're ugly as fuck. But it's always the ones that don't know shit about cars that like the wheels. Them shits are so ugly. They're like freaking spider webs, dude. Those are shitty as hell. Spider web ass wheels? How you like those? How you like those? Let me know how you like those, cause I don't like them. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to back to the car being automatic. Yeah, this car was manual to be way. What's up, man? It'd be a way cooler car if it was automatic. I'm sorry, but it'd be way, way cooler, way more fun. I could do way more with it if it was manual. Like I'm thinking about doing a manual swap on this car too, though. So don't sleep on that. Cause this automatic shit just ain't really for me. I always say, yeah, I, I want one automatic car. One of my cars be automatic, but not this one. I gotta have that manual. Like, I don't know. But with that being said, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. That's all I got for y'all today. This video is way overdue. But here we go today making it on Easter. Y'all make sure y'all add me on Snap. If you haven't already, sub to the channel, like I said, within the first two minutes of it. And then, if y'all don't got me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. I'll follow back. Especially if you got a cool ass car. Especially if you got a G, a Z, or a E46. I add back. I follow back. But yeah, with that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate y'all love. Um, this year we are on the road to 10,000 this year. We already had almost 6,000 within within the past couple months. We've been almost at 6,000. We gained over 100 subs within a, within a month. Um, last month in, in February, we were at 5,500. In March, we made it to 5,600. Right now we're in April and we're trying to get to 5,700. We're at 5,650 right now. Let's go y'all, sub, 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 sub. Sub to the channel, sub to the channel. Press that red button, hit that notification bell so y'all can see what's going on next. Like this video, like every video. Comment down below Let's what y'all wanna see next. Um, yeah, I mean, the more y'all comment, the more y'all comment y'all y'all vibes and whatever y'all wanna see next, the more, I, the, more uh, the more things I can have for y'all to see in general. So, the more things I can post that you guys wanna see. So comment what y'all wanna see next and make sure y'all hit that little red button. Sub to this shit. I'll see y'all in the next one, baby.